Welcome to the Clear Replica Overview. By the end of this module, you'll be able to describe ClearCase Multisite. Describe Clear Replica, you'll be able to describe the differences between the two products and discuss features only available in Clear Replica, like relaxed mastership, partial VOB replication, per branch replication, both one to many VOB replication and many to one VOB replication, replication of data between VOBs in the same region or even within the same VOB. You'll learn about Clear Replica's ability to deploy to even non-ClearCase host. And finally, we'll discuss cost and licensing differences between ClearCase Multisite and Clear Replica. Okay, first let's describe a scenario where you might use ClearCase Multisite or Clear Replica so we can discuss the differences. Let's say you plan to start a project that will have geographically distributed development between a location in the United States and a location in China. Furthermore, Let's assume there are 40 developers in each location. To discuss the differences between multi-site and clear replica, I'll first start with how this might be accomplished with ClearCase multi-site. Let's focus first on the contents of the VOB in the United States. With ClearCase multi-site, all elements are stored in the VOB along with the elements branches, versions on those branches, labels on those versions, and all other element metadata all of this is stored in the VOBS database. The complete VOB database is packaged into a multi-site packet that is sent to the destination location where it is received and processed, creating the replica VOB. Upon subsequent changes to the VOB database, the process is duplicated at configurable times at both locations so that development between the two replica VOBs stay in sync while allowing developers at each location to work on ClearCase VOBs at local LAN speeds. Additionally, ClearCase Multisite enforces a concept called Mastership. Mastership exists so that metadata, most commonly the branches of an element, can only be worked on at one site or the other, in an effort to avoid the conflict that can be created when similar metadata instances are created at each replica location between scheduled multi-site sync times. For instance, Developers in China may only be allowed to work on a particular branch across elements, while developers in the U.S. would only be allowed to work on other branches. So though they see each other's work, U.S. developers are prohibited from performing work on China mastered branches, and China developers would not be allowed to develop on U.S. owned branches. The ClearCase multi-site implementation of Mastership is both a blessing and a curse, as you will see later. So now you see how ClearCase Multisite handles replication of geographically distributed VOBs, and it works quite well, if indeed that's exactly what you need. But what if instead you needed more flexibility? What if you didn't want to replicate all of the elements in the VOB, or if you wanted to replicate different parts to different remote organizations? What if you did not want to replicate all branches for some of your elements? Or perhaps you needed the elements organized differently in the VOBs in the remote locations? None of these options are available in ClearCase Multisite. But with Clear Replica, all of these options are available to you. Let me show you. Continuing with the previous example, suppose you still wanted to replicate from the US to China, but did not wish to replicate all VOB elements to China, just the CPU and RAM code that that company specializes in. Let's say instead you wanted to send the case code and documentation to your office in Brazil, because they're better equipped to handle that piece of the project. With Clear Replica, it is possible to send just the CPU and RAM code to China, while sending just the case and documentation code to Brazil, all without having to break up your US FOB, where developers work on all components for the project. This lowers both policy and security costs, because you don't have to protect code at remote locations that is not sent there. This also frees up company bandwidth and bandwidth costs that can be used for other tasks or projects. Not only can you elect to replicate just certain files or directories to a remote site, but you can even elect to replicate just certain branches. Here it was decided to send only case and CPU code to your offices in India, but only data from certain branches is to be sent. Notice the vTree differences, specifically the missing branches, for the same element in different replica locations. Because Clear Replica allows you to replicate a subset of VOB elements or element branches, it allows for the flexibility of VOB splitting and joining across VOB replicas. Allow me to show you some examples. 
let's say that your company is developing a new and environmentally friendly e-car. This e-car is based on a new fuel your company has developed that provides twice the power with only half the emissions as compared to today's gasoline, as well as a unique body material that your company has developed that is stronger than steel but lighter than paper. You know this is a global game changer, but you also know your company does not have the expertise to bring this car to market by itself and will require the efforts of other companies and organizations. You partner with a company in Germany that specializes in car engines and already has a V6 engine that with just a few small modifications can be fitted to run your new fuel. With Clear Replica, both companies can collaborate on the new engine in their respective VOBs without having to change their VOB structure to accommodate the other organization. Each company can now co-develop on the modified engine with minimal impact on their respective organizations. And you did not have to replicate the fuel or body code to the outside organization. As you can see, VOB splitting and joining can span multiple VOBs as depicted here where you elect to additionally replicate code for a navigation unit from a cruise ship company in Australia that you have contracted to produce your eCars GPS navigation system. As you can see, the Australian company has no knowledge of the engine being co-developed between you and Germany, and Germany has no knowledge of the navigation system that's being developed for you by the Australian company. Taken a step further, you contract a company in Brazil that specializes in producing multi-language documentation to produce a user manual for the new engine which they replicate to both you and the engine specialist in Germany. Additionally, the documentation company was contracted by the cruise company to produce their user manuals for the GPS navigation software in multiple languages. And the cruise ship company, as part of the contract with you, has given the documentation company permission to replicate the documentation to you, but only the versions on the English language branch. So as you can see, with Clear Replica, it is possible to replicate parts of a VOB based on elements or branches to different VOBs without having to reorganize the VOB from their natural setup in the remote location. This concept is especially important to developers who tend to look at projects and group code in a certain way. For instance, developers that might change documentation in the eCar VOB might have both the eCar user guide and the navigation user guide in the same docs directory in their VOB, while the tech writers in the Brazilian documentation VOB might organize these documents by client directories, thereby placing the navigation user guide in the cruise directory and the eCar user guide in the eCar directory. And of course, Clear Replica allows a many to one replication relationship. As you can see, the contents or partial contents of many VOBs can be replicated to and reorganized in a single VOB. With Clear Replica, the splitting and joining of VOBs is easy and infinitely configurable, allowing you to share just the data you want to share, or use just the bandwidth you need to use. All of this while lowering development cost, security cost, and bandwidth cost. With Clear Replica, there are still more options you don't have with ClearCase Multisite. With Clear Replica, developers can even work on the same branch at the same time in different replica locations. You can replicate ClearCase VOB data within the same ClearCase region, allowing for hot backups. You can replicate ClearCase data within the same VOB, or even use Clear Replica to automatically deploy to non-ClearCase clients and file systems. I will briefly explain each of these options to you. Because Clear Replica Mastership is relaxed, developers can work on the same branch at different locations if desired. This allows geographically distributed development groups to work towards a common software release with less merging between locations. Clear Replica even allows for development on the same branch at different locations for the same element in those rare instances where that is required. With Clear Replica, you can replicate a VOB or portions of a VOB in the same region so long as that VOB has a different name. This can allow developers to recover lost data without having to involve the IT department. For instance, let's say that a privileged user accidentally removed the latest version of documentation in the VOB. That same user could go to the hot backup VOB and recover that version and then check it into the main VOB in a fraction of the time it would take to recover from tape backup. With Clear Replica, you can even replicate VOB data to another directory in the same VOB. So you can replicate a directory or parts of several directories into another directory or directory group. Again, this is useful for recovery of accidental data deletion or as a means for implementing policy or security. 
with Clear Replica, you can even deploy directly from a VOM to a non-ClearCase machine or file system, both locally and remote. You can take advantage of Clear Replica replication triggers to automate local and remote installs, update web servers, or even traveling laptops, even those laptops with dynamic IP addresses. So now you see some of the many advantages of Clear Replica over multi-site. Clear Replica's added flexibility allows you many more ways to replicate VOB data. ClearCase multi-site is fine when you want to replicate all of the VOB data all of the time, and when you can live within the restrictions of branch mastership. But Clear Replica is best when you have a subset of VOB elements or branches you want to replicate, even to non-ClearCase clients and file systems. Finally, it is important to compare the cost of Clear Replica to that of multi-site. The cost of replicating a VOB for development for two developers in two locations is about the same for Clear Replica as it is for ClearCase multi-site. But since multi-site is licensed per each concurrent user of a replicated VOB, and Clear Replica is generally licensed per depot or location, as you add users to the installation, the cost of multi-site rises accordingly, while the cost of Clear Replica stays the same, no matter how many users you add or how many VOBs you add. Congratulations! You now know some of the high-level features that Clear Replica adds over ClearCase multi-site. Here are some links you can select to view current Clear Replica documentation or software, or you can elect to end the Clear Replica overview module now.